Welcome What's up, West? I'm Bella. And I'm Morgan. And we are here with some exciting stories and announcements to share with you. This month, science teachers nominated students for the Titan Star Award. Students can be selected for demonstrating safe, respectful, and responsible behavior in the classroom or for demonstrating positive character traits. Congratulations to the following Titan Stars who are nominated this month. Sadie always walks the path of a Titan by being safe, responsible, and respectful. She gives great effort every day and is a joy to have in class. Medea is exceptionally kind and responsible. Her work is often chosen as the model for others because it is accurate and well done. Lexi is a student role model who walks the Titan path daily. She is a kind, friendly, helpful to peers and teachers, inclusive of others, and thorough with her science work and projects. Greta is an excellent science student. She produced an excellent presentation on her experiment project and agreed to present early so others could see her example. Dakota is a quiet leader. She does great work and is always carrying herself with a positive and self-confident demeanor. Christy is a true Titan student role model. She is a quiet and calm leader, works well with others, and formulates inquisitive science questions. Kinsley is new to our school this year and is a positive classroom asset to first hour science. She is kind and constantly demonstrates doing the right thing. Eileen works hard every day in class. She helps others, adapts to new situations, and works well with anyone and demonstrates perseverance. Troy is very friendly and kind. He is always on task and sets the stage for excellence in science class. Troy always asks great clarifying questions to ensure success. Now that it's been snowing outside, I've been looking for a good winter book to read. Have you read Hear the Wolves? A 12-year-old girl tries to fight off hungry wolves in a survival story. Let's check out the book trailer. The wolves watch us watching them, and I recall the two wolves chasing the snowshoe hare across the field. How fast they claim that animal is their prize. I remember wondering how the rabbit's heart must have known without a doubt that meat. I think about this as we turn our backs on the wolves and head deeper into the woods. I try to bury the worry because we're not rabbits. We are humans. We are hunters. We are not prey. Have you noticed that with the new Away for the Day cell phone rule, friends are actually communicating with each other during lunch instead of staring at their phones? West Press staff asked students and administrators their thoughts on the new policy. The new Away for the Day cell phone rule has mixed reviews. Here's what we found out when we interviewed West Middle School students and staff. Um, I don't really like it because we should be able to have our phones out at rec and lunch so we could socialize. But other than that, I guess it's fine. It's annoying because when we're at lunch and, uh, or rec, we should be able to have it out to just do whatever. Um, I like it because I never really have my phone out anyways. And it helps people like, focus and be focused. Um, I think it's pretty nice because kids aren't just distracted in class by their phones. So I think we should be able to use it during lunch because there's no learning going on. We can't get distracted by anything. I don't really like it that much because if I want to like show something to my friend like during lunch or something, it's kind of annoying. I don't like it because taking like pictures and stuff at recreation with your friends can like create memories and you could like print out and keep for the rest of your life. But now we can't do that because we can't have our phones. I actually kind of like it because I don't really ever want to go on my phone and I think it helps me focus. Because, you know, I got to text my mom once in a while, and I, well, I'm addicted to my phone, so I got to go on it once in a while. I don't like it. I think overall it's been pretty positive. Uh, one of my favorite things about it is watching you guys interact with each other at lunch. Um, you guys are laughing more, joking around more, and not everyone's phone's down like this. I think they'd like to change it. <laughs> I do. I think that they would probably like to have it at lunch, like I like I already discussed. Um, 
but I, I yeah I think they've responded better than I've anticipated and there's been a lot of like cooperation and understanding on the part of students that's been really awesome to see the away for the day cell phone rule at first I was nervous about monitoring it and um, and how students would respond but I think it has been very successful we have very few cell phones and I see students interacting more with each other um, I see just more conversations happening at lunch at uh, rec time I see them playing in the hallway I see just more social interactions and the drama has decreased due to the fact that we don't have cell phones during the day. With the majority of U.S. teens admitting that they spend too much time on their cell phones, the new policy here at West Middle School is beneficial to teen mental health. It's almost winter break and some teenagers might be spending holiday gift money over break. What would you spend your money on, Morgan? Probably new phone cases. What about you? Probably clothes and food. We asked some teachers what they think teenagers spend their money on. Let's see if they were right. What do teenagers spend their money on? What do you spend your money on? Here's some answers from teachers and students. So what do you think that teenagers spend their money on? Uh, I think teenagers spend their money on Fortnite V-Bucks. Uh, let's see. Definitely like fidgets or, um, oh, what, Sephora? <laughs> and then if you were a teenager, what would you spend your money on? If I were a teenager, totally anything Target. Uh, those gift cards are catch-all. So many different sections between the, the dollar section, the toy section, the clothes, Target. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, if I was a teenager, hmm. I would spend my money on the football game. Oh. <laughs> and then the, the games and buying stuff at the games. And probably then, minutes like, <laughs> for my phone so I could talk to my friends. And then um, what do you think teenagers typically spend their money on? I say they probably spend their money on uh, video games. If I were to give you $100 right now, what would you spend it on? Football or basketball stuff. And when you typically have money, what do you spend it on? Candy. Okay. What do you typically spend your money on? Um, I don't really spend my money. If I were to give you $100 right now, what would you spend it on? Um, if I were going on a trip, then like souvenirs. So if you had $100, what's the one thing that you would go get? Um, Probably clothes, like pants. And when you have money, what do you spend it on? Um, food. Word. Have a safe winter break, and this is West Press signing off. I'm here at the Lost and Found Room in the 8th grade way. As I speak, coats, water bottles, and lunch boxes are arriving without students' names inside and crying out. As the cold months of winter loom before us, will you be an angel for a helpless coat, hoodie, water bottle, or lunch box? Every day, missing items are lost, forgotten, and neglected. There's a lost item here who needs you. Please visit the 8th grade wing today to find your item and rescue it from the deep, dark pits of the lost and found. If coats, water bottles, and items are not rescued soon, they face the reality of being donated.